Hey guys, Jacob Howard here, and today on Tuesday Tech Tips, we're going to be going into how to fly the different modes for FPV in a liftoff simulator. So we're gonna go through each one individually in separate videos so you guys can get a very good understanding of how they all work. So definitely stay tuned for all the other videos on all the different modes and how you can best utilize them to get more practice in and all that. We're going to start here um, with this drone here. I'm gonna click select, and we're gonna start in acro mode. So acro mode basically allows you to do whatever you want with the drone while you're flying. This is the best mode to start practicing in because it basically takes all the training wheels off of flying and forces you to get better at flying so that you actually can be good when you take off your real drone in real life. So you can see up here on the top left, I have the little sign that says acro. So I'm currently in the acro mode. I can change modes by just pressing the button but I'm going to stay in acro, so you guys can see that. I'm gonna arm my drone, and I'm going to take off. So the thing about acro is whenever you make a move, so let's see, like right now, I'm throttled forward, I'm pitched forward a little bit, but you can see whenever you make a move, so let's say I roll to the right a little bit. See that fake horizon there, how it, how it went off kilter a little bit? So now, if I pitch forward, I'm also still leaning a little bit to the right. So really, that's what acro does, is it basically um, every single movement you make, it keeps that movement until you make an opposite movement of it. So right here, for example, let's try and get as level as possible. Okay, that's pretty level right there. So I'm going to move to the left, and you can see I'm tilted now. Now I've returned the stick to the center, but it's not going back. So now what I need to do is I actually need to move it to the right to reset it into the center there. I have to put the same amount of pressure and movement back onto the right side to compensate for what I did on the left side. So that's really what changes with acro and it's so difficult because it's really easy when you're new to let's say just be tilted a little bit and then you're flying around and you're trying to do all this stuff and you're actually just a little bit tilted and it's easy to crash and stuff like that uh, because we're used to if we like let go of the sticks or something like that it's gonna bounce back um, to what we can handle and it's gonna try and keep itself level. Acro mode is not trying to keep itself level. It is trying to basically be whatever you're trying to do to it. Okay, something else I did wanna show you guys, you can see I put on little joysticks on the bottom, a joystick overlay so you guys can see the moves I'm doing. But basically what Acro is allowing me to do is uh, have complete freedom over what the drone does. So for example, I can throttle up, cut the throttle and do a front flip. I can do that. And I can, let's say, throttle up, cut the throttle, and do this, and just hang out. And then throttle back up and return back to position. You can do whatever you want. I can do the same thing on a roll. And then come back out of it. This really is FPV. This is what FPV droning is basically all about is being able to finally control your drone to where it's doing all these crazy things that we've never been able to do before with a drone. And you get all these really cool shots. It takes a ton of practice, but this is what FPV is about. So I'll just give you guys a little shot to kind of see like what stick movements I'm doing so you guys can start training on them. In acro mode, I found it's very useful. Like for example, let me get kind of to a base here. If I'm going to turn to the right, I don't just roll because that's not gonna turn me around. I have to yaw as well. So I will roll and yaw and that'll keep my horizon as level as possible. You can see this fake horizon here at the top of these lines that's moving around right now. And you can see if I move the roll and the yaw, the horizon will stay pretty level. But if I just like do a yaw, you can see it's it's really accentuating any uh, slight deviation I had on that horizon. So I'm just a little bit off on the horizon right here, but if I do a yaw, it's going to just completely emphasize it and crash. So that's why I recommend when you're turning, you do a roll and a yaw. And you don't always have to keep the horizon level. That's actually part of the beauty of FPV, but you wanna be able to learn how to keep it level so that you can know how not to keep a level so you can do it right instead of just oh i know how to keep the horizon all crooked well that's not a skill that's just the base 
of where you start, keeping the horizon level and being able to return and go back and forth, that's where the skill really comes in. And I know for, for new people, it's going to seem like you can never, ever get to this point. You're going to say, this is just absolutely crazy what I'm doing. And it's really not compared to some of the moves that FPV pilots can do and stuff like that. But this, you will be able to get to this point. You will be able to do it. I started out with that exact same feeling that I am never, ever going to be able to do this. And I do these same kind of moves with my real drone in real life. Um, not maybe always as uh, sketchy as this one, but... Depends where I'm flying. Okay, guys, so that kind of gives you an idea of Acro and how it works. Um, I definitely recommend really getting some good practice in the FPV simulator, uh, whether that's liftoff or DRL or whatever you're going to use, um, and really get some good time in on the Acro mode. This is how you use it. This is how you can start getting practice in it. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.